Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a basic tutorial on the a la carte workflow. So this workflow is all about food photography. It comes with 21 food brushes and 82 food presets. When it comes to food photography, it's all about light, detail, and color. So I'm going to show you how to use this workflow to kind of enhance your food photography. I've got a photograph pulled up, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. For this photograph, I'm going to start with my presets. So as you can see, I have on the left here all my a la carte presets open. And for this photograph, I'm going to start with the all-in-one sweet paprika. All right, so I've gone ahead and applied that. And as you can see, it's kind of warmed up the photograph and added a little bit more contrast. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to a color correct preset. It did warm up the photograph, but it was a little too warm. So what I'm going to do is add a color correct preset. I'm going to reduce the oranges. So as you can see, these presets are stackable. So basically what I can do is I can apply one preset and then apply another one on top. And all it's going to do is add on as opposed to cancel out the first preset. And even though they are one-click edits and you can stack them, you can also go over here in your tabs and kind of mess with the sliders and change things that you want and kind of tweak the presets. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my blacks up a little bit and I'm going to put them up at 30 so it's not so dark. So now that I've applied two presets and I've tweaked them, I'm going to go to my brushes. And the first brush I'm going to use is the Enhanced Color Contrast Brush. So we're going to the Enhanced Brushes Color Contrast. And I'm going to be using that basically just on the food here. So all I want to do is enhance the detail and contrast here in the food. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit New. The next brush I'm going to use is a Brighten brush, so I'm going to the a la carte light brushes here. I'm going to choose the Brighten, and I'm using this just on the food as well, just to add a little bit more light. We're adding light here to the food because we really want to bring the attention directly to the food. I'm going to hit New. I'm going to use one more brush now. I'm going to go into my color brushes, and I'm using red. And I'm going to make my brush smaller, which you can do by using the bracket keys on your computer, or you can scroll down here and use the slider here. So I've made my brush pretty small because I just want to apply this red just kind of in this area where the tomato is, just to really bring out these red colors. So the same with the presets, you can also tweak the brushes. So if you find this red to be a little bit too bright, what you can do is you can go into your sliders here for your brush and turn the saturation down a little bit. All right, we're going to use another brush. So I'm going to hit new and I'm going to be using a light brush again. I'm going to be using the reduce highlights brush. And I'm just going to use that in these kind of little blown out areas here where it's really bright. But I don't necessarily need to use it all over. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit new and I'm going to add a vignette to this. So going down to my vignette presets I'm going to add a subtle white vignette which is just going to add a nice soft light glow to the outside of the picture. All right, so I'm done with this photograph. I'm going to show you the before and after. So as you can see, we've taken the photograph on the left, which was kind of dull before, and we've really brought the light to the food, added detail and color and contrast, and we've just overall enhanced the quality of the photograph and made the food just look a little bit more appealing. So moving on to the next photograph. For this photograph, I'm going to start with one of my favorite presets that comes in this workflow. I'm going to be using the All-in-One Fresh Contrast preset. So as you can see, this just adds color, light, and contrast all in one shot. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a clean and clear base.
I'm going to stack one more preset on there. I'm going to use a light preset. So I'm going to my exposure presets here and I'm going to be using the brighten shadows. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust my shadows up a little bit more just to bring up the dark parts of the photograph. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my brushes and I'm going to be using the enhance brush clarity and detail and make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to be using this just basically all on the food here. We just really want to enhance the texture of the food and just make it look a little bit appetizing. And I'm going to use it on this little caramel drizzle right here. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is add a vignette. So going down to my vignettes, I'm going to use the subtle black. That's just going to add a very subtle black vignette around the edge that is going to kind of draw the attention to the center of the photograph and draw the light to the center of the photograph. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my color tab here. So as I mentioned, they are one-click presets, but you can adjust them manually. So I am just going to push the orange up a little bit just to kind of bring out the orange in this dessert. So here's a before and after. Same as the first photograph, we enhance the detail, the color, and the contrast, and just overall enhance the photograph. So now I'm going to move on to a third photograph. So as you can see, this is a really nice photograph, but it is kind of underexposed and a little bit dark, and we've lost a lot of the detail over here and the color as well. The fries kind of look a little bit dull. So for this one, I'm going to use the fresh contrast all-in-one preset again. Right away, it's kind of added color and contrast back into the photograph. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clean and clear base, same as I did on the last photograph. I'm going to go straight into my brushes now, and I'm going to be going to a light brush. I'm going to be using the brightened shadows, and I'm going to make the brush kind of bigger. And I'm going to use this brush all in this area here where the shadows have really kind of darkened out the detail. And that's just to bring light and detail back into this photograph. The next brush I'm going to use, I'm going to hit New. I'm going to be using the Clarity and Detail brush. And again, I'm using that just on the food here to bring out the detail. The great thing about this brush is that it also brings out the highlights, so it adds a little bit of light to the food as well. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my vignettes and I'm going to add another vignette to this. For this one, I'm using the subtle black, which as you can see, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it does kind of darken the edges of the photograph here. So as you can see, what I was able to do is still kind of keep this darker tone and kind of nice contrast to the photograph, but we did enhance it. so. If I go ahead and click here, what we've done is we've enhanced the detail in the food and the color as well as the light, but we still have this nice dark contrast and color going on. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to try it out on your own food photography.